welcome, welcome Chaplain Chillers. How are you? How's everybody going? Um, here we are with another edition. Real people, keeping it real, is where we interview real people who are doing dope things, who overcame some challenges, and they willing to share their wins. And so yeah, here we are, another video, another episode. Let's get it popping. Let's get it going. Yes, yes. Well, today we are so excited. We got oh Miss Tim Shongo. She will tell us all about herself. Um, but you know, she's one of those people that I admire because she will tell us her wins and her struggle. And because we see her most of uh, okay for for for, the, for our American audience and the uh, people from abroad, um, you might not know her, but you know her from today. And she she's actually. Um, an artist in South Africa on a very well-known production called Uzalo. That's, well, not that's not how I know her, but I know her prior to that. But I'm one of her number one fans on that show. Well, Sissy, by cancel. Social media wants you canceled. They're not happy about the fact that Usbonel is out of jail. And because of that, by cancel would see the boy caught his dish. And that has an impact on my advertisers because they've got investments in the station. But I can't tell you. 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 See for yourself. And we want you guys to stay to, to, to watch it as well. I'm sure after you've heard this interview, you will, you're going to fall in love with her. But we'll allow her to introduce herself. Tell us who she is and where she comes from, what it's just all about. Because like uh, LJ said, this show is really to just talk to ordinary people who are doing great things out there, but also have overcome certain obstacles. And, uh, you know, they've had a couple of wins, they've had a couple of losses, but they still made it through. So, Stay, welcome to Chilling with the Chaplains podcast. We're so excited excited to have you today thank you for agreeing yes. to this interview finally yes thank you so much i'm good i'm good <laughs> hi guys hello 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 all the way I in say south hello africa to you guys. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> hello oh, you're hello, international hello. now um, you're really is, international you you guys are my favorite you guys are my favorite couple you know that uh, you had a beautiful ceremony here in the country last year and um, it blew up our social media and it is still something that everybody talks about. Thank you so much for such a beautiful experience. Myself and all the young people who um, you know, were on the socials, I was supposed to attend, but I had an emergency. We really, really enjoyed having um, Pastor Chap um, in the country. It was such a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for having me on your, on your, on your podcast. Thank you. We appreciate you being here and also agreeing on our, our invitation. So on that note, tell us who Tay is. Yes. So, you know, we want to know a little bit better. Uh, uh, we want to know you a little bit better, not just us, but the audience as well. Because like I said, some we, we've got a, an international audience, so maybe only South Africans know you. So we want to introduce you to that international audience. Tell us who are you and, you know, like a little bit background about yourself. Yeah, so um, Semilem Songo is first and foremost um, a child of God. Um, Amen. Can you hear me? Yes. Amen. 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 I'm a child of God. Uh, <laughs> I'm a child of God. Um, I was saved at a very young age. Um, I basically grew up in church. I grew up in church. I went to, to church at a very, very young age. Um, my, I used to go with my grandmother in uh, a church. It's, it's an evangelist church. And, um, and the, the other one, actually, there's two churches that the, the family went to. It was a, a Baptist church and a, a missionary church. And um, I basically began my journey and my walk with God at a very, very young age because I basically used to just go to church with my, with my grandmother and my mother. And, um, you know, I was born in, in South Africa, in Tuzuma, um, in Gwamashu. Gwamashu is, is, a, is a very huge township in Durban, and that's where I was born. And, you know, going to church in, in that sub, well, in that um, location was an interesting uh, thing for me because, you know, there were so many cultural differences. Here you were, a young girl going to um, a church 
um, in a location or a township and um, you're going to a school. I went to a white school. Um, my mother worked very, very hard in order to, you know, make sure that I get the, get the best education. Um, and, you know, traveling with the bus um, to get my education, coming back to the location, uh, going to church almost three times a week, you know, because there was church on Sunday, then there was rehearsals for choir. I used to sing um, in Sunday school and in youth group. So you, you um, want to sing? You know, I, I had a very good, well-rounded um, a childhood because I had my mother and my grandmother. Um, I had great education. I had my um, my little sister and my cousin in in the same household. Look, it was some. It was it's it's something that I I can talk for for days and days upon. But more than anything, I'm a child who I, I was a child who grew up with the right foundation, and I grew up with so much love around me. Two strong women, my mother and my grandmother, who who you know who tried to teach me the way, the best in the way they knew how. They tried to fill me with as much love as they could. You know, um, my father wasn't present, but they filled that gap. You know, when I talk. About about my childhood, I never mentioned my dad, but I can I can talk a long time for a long while about how great my childhood was. We might not have had much because it was a, um, a I was raised by a single parent. But more than anything, I just remember that my my mother and my grandmother did everything that they could to to make me feel like I'm also part of the community. I'm also loved, you know. I'm also well provided for, you know. I, I, the, the, there's just so much I can I owe to 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 my mom and my grandmother, um, who raised me. Um, I grew up in the township, like I said, got the best education I believe. Um, I don't know, Cesar, you know Durban Girls High, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I went to Durban Girls High, which was also um, an all girls school. And then I, I I went to Johannesburg to pursue my dreams. So in a nutshell, that's me today. I'm a mother um, of a, a six-year-old boy, very naughty. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's me in a nutshell. Yeah. That's me in a nutshell. Yes, I yeah. There, there, there's so much that I've been through. I, but yeah, I guess we're gonna unpack that about, as time goes. About going, you know, um, being being brought up by a single mom and a grandmother. Isn't that the life of most African children? Mm -hmm. And I think most black children mm -hmm. all over the world, right? Yes. Including the United States mm -hmm. where, you know, uh, we are these strong individuals through, um, you know, our mothers and our grandmothers. And that's why I feel like we honor them who, uh, uh, of who we are, really. It's, it's, we, we give them honor because we are, because they are. Right. And, and, and yeah, um, I, I know that life of, of living in a township and then having to commute to the suburbs to go to multiracial schools, because I was just right up the road from you. I was in uh, Ridge Park College. So, yeah, we were, we were almost there. Yes, yes. Let's see your mom's workplace, actually, <laughs> McCord Hospital. So, yeah, so I... I, I yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, just one Yeah, thing absolutely. That you, you know, um, like I said, we, we kind of reintroducing you to international um, uh, platform because you you mostly known in in, in South Africa or Africa because I know you had a stint in Nigeria as well. What's the one thing that people um, have, uh, know about you? Like the one thing about you that you know few people know about you that you would like the masses to know and how you want to be known in the international platform. Well. Um... If there's one thing that I, the first thing, first and foremost, I think if anyone were to know me that they should know first, like I said, that's a child of God. <laughs> that's a child of God. Um, second of all, I'm an actress. Um, I've always loved the arts. Um, I went to a good school. I was privileged in that uh, my mom sacrificed a lot in order for me to go to that school. And I was able to practice the, the arts and um, acting in particular. So I am one person who is, is currently doing that in, in, in my country. And I'm doing it on, on one of, it's actually the biggest show in South Africa currently. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, there's one thing you must know about God. You must know one thing about God. He he orders our steps because, you know, I, I, I've been trying to get in the acting game for the, for the longest of time. 
And um, especially when I was still like in my early 20s, you know, when I was all fresh and young and hungry, I still am hungry for it. But you know, um, there's things that have happened in the in, in between then and now, and I realized that God was was, was preparing me because yeah. I've done uh, some acting gigs before, but this is the major one. Um, it's it's a telenovela or a soapy. I, I don't know. I think it's changed a soapy now. You can call it a soapy in South Africa. And it's the biggest one. It boasts the, the, know, the, the largest numbers it, it, on, on in Do you know, do you know that, that if that, 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 that soapy was in uh, the United States, States you can, guys would not have writers at this point in time because there's a writer strike, strike going on. on. And so he's I saw, all. I saw yes, in the United, United States. States. So that was I saw. in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness, thank goodness. Look, we also have our own uh, struggles. There's so many things that we have to get right in our industry as well, especially as performers. But yeah, look, we're still we're still pushing on, and um, you know, I, I I say that every artist needs to. To, to, to fight for, for, for what's rightfully theirs, whether they're a writer, director, whether they're a performer. Um, you know, we, we have to respect the craft. It's not easy to be a writer. I know that one, that's one, that one for sure. I, I've tried writing. Um, it's something that is, is, is I, I believe writing is something that is, is, is from God. You can't learn how to write. Um, you can perfect it by learning, but it's it's a it's a gift from God. So if that if that's how you make your your your, your bread that means you have to fight for it. You have to. Nobody must take it away from you. Nobody must must cut it. Must, must um, you know deny you of a slice that that belongs to your child. You know what I mean. So I I, I believe in fighting for what what you are what you are passionate about more than anything. Because like I said, even here in South Africa, performers are also fighting for more or less the same thing. So yeah. Um, but um, like I was saying, I I I am on this huge show. And um, I would have never imagined that at this time in my life that I would just literally, from just doing a few dramas beforehand, then I would literally land onto a huge, huge platform like this. So if there's anything that anybody must know about me is that I'm a child of God who loves the arts so much. Um, and I'm getting so much great feedback from people who watch the show. I'm really, really appreciating that um, from locally and internationally. So thank you so, so much for the love and support. Amen to that. Amen. Now, I do want to ask you, all right, because yeah. you said yeah. son has, has some sh challenges, challenges, some struggles to, to break through. Uh, uh, what, what was, was those challenges? Yeah. What were those struggles? Because I don't want to, you know, you go over that. And because somebody might be listening and they're like, and they probably want wondering, you know, ask him, ask him, ask him. What mm -hmm. was the challenge that she went through? Why, to, you know, why did it take so long mm -hmm. to get through that, 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 that big break? So what were those challenges that you were facing? That yeah, finally, finally you got, got there. there. What, what, what challenge you had to overcome? Yeah, it it look. It was a, a whole lot of things. I, I I wouldn't really even put it into. In, 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 I can't even really find the words for it. But more than anything, it was about. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I felt like I wasn't doing something um, that that I was supposed to. A lot of people say. If you really want, a lot of people will call me and say to me, like, if you really want it, you know what you need to do. You know, that's yes. the kind of industry that we're in. You know, it, it's, it's got its demons. Can I, can I just and, stop you there? You know, um, can, say, can I, a lot can of I times just, you have to. Can I just stop yes. you there? I want, I want you to elaborate on that part because, you know, there's a lot of young people who are watching us and mm. want to break into the acting industry. And I'm, 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 and I'm thinking... This is not only the United States or South Africa, it's worldwide where you gotta do it, what's in it for me, right? When it goes when it comes to producers or people who are finding yeah. talent. Mm. That thing that you set up that you spoke about, because that was a, a, a an yeah. artist's code. What is it exactly if you if you are if you're able to share that with us, that what what is required? Because I know one thing that made me leave the, the South Africa to come to the United States was that opportunities were not for everyone, they were for people who knew people. You know, no, nepotism, nepotism was so rife that I knew that I had the academics and the experience, but I couldn't break into the job that I was uh, capable of breaking into, you know, as high as you go, because I wasn't politically connected. So what is that code that you was talking about mm. that, that, you know, you, you do this you know, in order to get this? What, what is you know it? You know you got to do it, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, no, it, it, I mean, in, in our industry, it, it sometimes means um, you know that you have to sleep with someone to, 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 to get in, um, whether it be a director or a producer, whoever is, is, is holding the power at that time. Um, sometimes it's just as simple as, like you're saying, who do you know? You know what I mean? You won't know about an audition um, um, and uh, because somebody didn't hook you up. Sometimes you go to an audition, you have the opportunity to go to that audition, but they've already chosen their cast. So you're basically wasting your time. They've already, they're just doing it for the formalities. Um, um, sometimes it was it was just a combination of a lot of things. It was like these gatekeepers, you know, the the people who who don't who who don't want somebody who is unknown. If you don't have the right numbers on social media, oh no, sorry, we can't help you. You know, there's just there was a lot of these forces that were just fighting and and coming against the, the breakthrough, and. Um, I, I sometimes didn't know there was a time when I actually gave up and I was working behind the scenes for the longest of time. Um, and I, I, I was okay with it, but sometimes I used to just be uncomfortable with it. Knowing very well that I will not, I can't sleep with anyone to, to, to get to my dreams because that means I'll always have to sleep with someone. That would also mean that I'm not good enough to actually do or to perform on TV or to act, you know, um, I believe that I am good enough. So therefore I do not need to sleep with anyone. You know what I mean? Right. And I don't necessarily, I don't even have to be um, given a favor. You know, it doesn't have to be a favor as in when I, when I reached out for an opportunity to say, guys, please let me know if there's a show. I say, um, hook me up, hook me into the show. I used to say, just tell me if there's you know what I mean? I didn't mind being in that queue in the sun and an audition. You know what I mean? Because I do believe that I can stand out. So for the longest of time, it has been those kind of challenges where I would sometimes be in the sun for the longest of time, but they've already chosen their people because mm. it, they, they, they walk into that audition room and they've got their people and I'm not their people. You know what I mean? So it's all those kind of things. And sometimes you just get so confused as to, okay, what am I not doing right? Because I do believe that I've got this. I, I, I know that I can do it. Um, surely there should be a time where no one, you know, um, they, 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 there's a role where no one is already in it and they're just doing this for formality and I can break through. Um, how many more times must I try? You know what I mean? When is it going to be my time fair and square? You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, it took me a long time, but today I'm here and I got in fair and square, yes. not because yes. of, yes. you know, me being in bed with someone or because of a favor or because, you know what I mean? I, I, I was in the queue with, with everyone else and I, I, I got the opportunity. And I can safely say that I can go on. I, I, I just don't believe as well that God will bless you if you go in through the back door. You know what I mean? How can you, you know, how can you elevate if you went through the back door? You know, I, I don't know if, I, if, to me, it doesn't make sense. So I believed in, in, in the fact that I can do it because, you know, the, 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 I can do all things through Christ Jesus. So um, I, I will get in through the front door where, where everyone else is auditioning and I will elevate accordingly. I love that. I love yes, that. I love that. I, I just want to, mm. you know, I want, because I, I picked up, we picked up a lot from what you just said, but what advice would you give somebody who's actually trying to get in and they're going through the same struggles? Because I've heard a lot of Hollywood uh, actors say the same thing, yes. that they are gatekeepers in, in industry, not just in, in the acting mm. industry, but we hear it, you know, over and over again in, in various industries. So for somebody who yeah. is looking up to you and saying, "Hey, I want to break in. I've been trying. I've been in. Th I've done theatre. I've done. I've done. Um, um, what's what's this other acting when you? No, no, no. I've done the theatre. I've done. Um, uh, uh, when 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 you're behind the scenes in acting, what is it called again? Um, behind the scenes. Yeah, producers. Yeah, no, no, no. Those people who just walk. Um, the cameos and and and, and, the and cameos. Yeah, I've been a cameo. I've been. You know, yeah, you, you're an extra. An extra, extra right? right? That's the yeah. one I was looking for. Yeah. So, what, 
what can I do? Because I know I have the skill. I'm gifted. Because I've seen you. You, you, you're amazing. And but what can I do in order for me to showcase my skill? You said go to the front door, but I've been trying for twenty years. Is it really worth keep doing the right thing? It should should I not just not give in and just give each other, which is a bribe? And so that you know, I, I won't sleep with anyone, but I'm just giving them money. You know, what what are you saying to those people? What are you saying to people out there who are saying I've been trying, but it's just not breaking? Yeah, yeah. I say you know the one thing that I mean, can you you can say that I'm fortunate that I I didn't have that bribe or I couldn't, you know. Um, sleep with anyone, for instance, it just wasn't in me. The only thing I had was number one, to keep the faith and to keep on believing in myself, believing in myself and trying over and over again. It seems like, you know, oh, come on, you know, that's, um, no, I've been trying, but that's all that you can do. You have to keep on trying because there will be a day that God opens those doors. We're in a Christian platform. I do believe that God, you know, you know, God never lets us down. He knows our hearts, he knows our desires and nothing can ever fail God. So you have to keep on believing in him, believing in yourself and believing that, the, that your time will come. Like I said, for me, it took me forever. It has taken me forever, but I had to keep on trying. To a point where sometimes I even sort of gave up, but at the end of the day, I had to go back there because what I was doing wasn't satisfying me and I was hungry for this. So I had to go back and try and try over and over again and just trusting in God. You have to trust in God because if you don't you might as well you know stay where you are give up and maybe you will you will even end up bribing someone or um doing whatever you or backdoor any other backdoor stunt that you need to do you have to have to have to keep on believing you have to push you have to believe in yourself you have to polish your craft you have to and, and, and you know what the funny thing was with me um a past and caesar i i i tried with agencies as well and agencies never worked and agencies would look at my show reel and they would be impressed and i was to get into their database but they'd never call me for some reason i'm talking about the best agencies in the country um they never used to call me um i would wonder why it's so silent next thing i hear that there was an audition for the show and their people were there you know other um, um other um performers from their database were there present and i wonder people of the same or a lady of the same demographics as me who looks so much so much like me was there but they didn't call me you know so that's when i actually realized that you know what i think that god wants me to actually just trust in him directly because i have tried all agencies they love me when i'm there in front of them i take photos i'm in their database but no call no one ever calls me for an audition so i realized that this is a time for me to actually just trust in god he's going to be my agent i'm going to speak to whoever i need to speak to as in literally i didn't mind if i was on the set of something or if i like because i did back i used to do like behind the scenes work and if i knew that this guy um, is, is, um, is, a, is a director. I used to sell myself to say, I have a show reel, please. If you know of any other shows that are coming up that you're about to direct, if you need somebody who looks like me or who speaks like me, please have a look at this. And that's how I actually got through, to be honest with you, on Ozalo. I used to hustle on the ground for myself. I used to sell myself. I didn't have to, I, I couldn't depend on an agency um, to do it for me. So it also takes a bit of that. It also takes you not depending on other people. It takes you being vocal, being bold to say, look, I, I can do this. Just give me one chance. Just call me for the audition. I'll show you that I'm not, I can do this. I'm actually good for it. So trusting God, if, if agencies don't work for you, do it yourself, sell yourself. If there's so anything you, that you so have done, do it. If these days, you, you sorry, you didn't, have an, you didn't have an agency. I did in, in terms of, yes, I was in someone's database, right. but they never called me to mm. say there's an audition. Guy guy. They used to send the other, the other girls. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? So, so what, what I'm um, when you, you Mina, when, when I went to auditions, mm -hmm. you got you got you went through Ozalo. Yes, no, I didn't get through an agency. No. Wow, that's amazing. No, I didn't. I didn't go through an agency. I actually, literally, I had I I I showed them 
my with the show we loved the previous dramas that I did. Luckily, um, even those dramas, I had to literally hustle and talk to this lady, um, the lady director, her name is Ria. And she was so good, she was so kind to me. When she finished shooting that drama, she asked the, the editor to, to, to put together one scene, um, a couple of scenes, I think, um, of, my, of the work that I've done. And I used that to literally shop around. It was like, I used this one link uh, uh, on, 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 it was like a clip on MP4. Oh, and I used to send it around to producers, to anyone, a production manager, anyone who was willing to give me a chance. And it's basically, it was just basically my little thing that I, it was my little CV because I could see that, look, no one else is going to sell me. So instead of me approaching somebody and just saying that, look, I haven't, um, I don't have an agency, da, 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 I used to just say, have a look at this. If there is anything, please let me know. Please call me. Um, my numbers are at the end of the, 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 the clip. So literally I had to go to all those strides. But yes, in the beginning, before I had those clips, I had to literally speak to people and say, please, if you know of any auditions, please let me know. And you know what? God is good because there will be someone who is willing to give you a fair chance. There will never, be, you can never say what no one, no one ever wants to listen to. There are people who are willing to give you a chance and, you know, at least get you in front of that audition tape in, in the in audition camera. So that's how I was able to get the little milestones or achieve the little milestones before I got onto Uzano. So it's about pushing yourself. You can never, ever rely on other people. You can never say, oh, my agency is going to do this or this person is going to help me. You also have to hit the ground running. You also have to speak to people. Hustle. They say you have, must be a hustler. Your hustling is used as a bad word, but it's true. Get on the ground, sell yourself, you know, um, 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 show them. These days, it's, it's after COVID especially, we, we are now able to actually do self tapes. So do a monologue. You know what I mean? Do a monologue on, 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 on camera. These phones, even as small as this one, the one that I have here, can shoot a beautiful um, video, shoot a video and use that to, to sell yourself. People are willing to you uh, to look at self tapes now to 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 um, to be able to see whether you can pull something off or not. So do that. That's an easy way of doing it these days. So it's hustling, trusting God, pushing, 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 and trusting in you and trusting yeah. that one day you will break through because it. it come true I, I believe that's it yes, yes. I, I think, think that, that was, was so so, so good yeah. you said a lot yeah. I mean it was so awesome what you were saying because I got a few things out of, out of the things that you were saying that I want to bring up um what I got out of the, um, the conversation one um you were talking about you gotta have you gotta believe in yourself you gotta believe you gotta have faith in your abilities you gotta be confident um, if you so if you're a person that that lack confidence, then it's going to be hard for you. So you gotta find it within yourself to believe in your abilities because you do have some abilities. Uh, another thing, you gotta believe in God. You gotta trust God that God would open up the doors for you. So believe in yourself, trust God, and then another thing that I gotta, you gotta begin to. Push, push, push yourself, yourself out there. You gotta, gotta add value as, as much as you can. can. That's, that's that's very important, important that, that you put, put in the work and you add value. When, when you continue to add value and you're doing, doing your best work, work then eventually you will get noticed. Absolutely. And you will get noticed if you're doing your best and you put and you add value. And then the last the last thing that I got out of it that's very important. Oh my God! What was the last point? Maybe. Oh, now well, he's, he's putting, putting me in a corner. corner. He's saying maybe. But, but one, one thing, thing I, I know from what you said is that never give up on yourself. You yeah. know, never give up on yourself. Mm. Uh, just keep yeah. keep on yeah. keeping on because only you can stop yourself from succeeding. Nobody, if the, if the, the no will eventually lead to a yes. Yes, the no will eventually lead to a yes. So definitely, you want to add yeah. right. You want to believe in yourself. That's why that, oh, what was the other okay, point? It's not what you're meant to be. So let's do it as we move on. So you've said a mouthful, but what advice would you give your younger self? And like, if you had, if you were a 12 year old, say, what uh, would you tell her right now if she was in front of you and say, say, you know, looking back at what you've gone through your journey so far? Um, I would tell my younger self that. It all happens in, in 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 God's time, and it's okay for for it to happen that way. It's actually good that it happens that way. You know, there is um, 
I, I've actually now looked back the, uh, over the past few months, I've actually looked back and realized that um, I think if I had, and I, this may be contradicting everything I, I, I was saying, but it's something that I've learned, it's a learning, that if I had re um, obtained everything that I have today much earlier in my life, like in my early 20s, you know, when I was still like budding, I think I would have, maybe I would have messed it, I think I would have messed it up for real because I felt like, you know, I'm handling things. The, the reason why God is elevating me is because he has groomed me to be where I am now. And in our job, and I think in a lot of other jobs, your it's not about it's not too much about your 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 talent that keeps you where you are. Yes, it's talent, but it's also your character. Character is very, very important in our line of work. The way that you are, the way that you treat people, the way that you treat yourself, the way that you treat your craft, it needs a level of maturity. I've realized that the people who have um sust have been sustained sustained or rather stayed long in the game are people that have their character in check god has built and groomed their character and um that that's why they're respected um in this craft and in this game and they're able to grow and mature like fine wine and they're able to even you know get the money the rates that they're able to get you know they're able to get the respect from the industry the way that they're able to character is a huge deal in any job i think and sometimes i feel like in certain jobs you can get away with being you know immature and you know um, impatient and doing all sorts of things but in this game i feel like you have to know yourself in or, or, or rather know who you are in god in order to stay in the game in order to um to, to to have that longevity in the game so um if i were to speak to my younger self i would say stop freaking out about the time that the fact that um time is ticking and um you and, and and opportunities are passing you back when the time comes for you to get the opportunity when god says it's time that is going to be the best time and you must you must respect god's time because god's time is the best time because that's when you're actually going to stay there a lot of young people got into the game when they were very very young and they shot up but they shot down mm. um i believe that I was able to get into the game a bit later because I think God was still trying to prune, prune me and, and, and mature me and um, just sort out a, lo a lot of things in me. And now I'm able to approach this this, this uh, approach this um, industry in a very, um, I, I don't want to say God-like as an, as an imperfect, no, but I, I, the Holy Spirit guides me in a lot of things. And um, I don't think I would have been able to do that earlier in my life. You know what I mean? I know God a bit more. So God is able to, at this point, God is able to ground me and and, and show me how to do things, how what to think, what to say. And I, I don't think I would have had that kind of maturity earlier in my life. Yes, I've known God all my life, but I've known him in a better way um, uh, lately. So I, I really do believe that he only opened this opportunity, this big, big opportunity now, because I think he he trusts. And I, well, I believe that God trusts that I will, I'm actually in the right mind. I'm in the right um, spiritual space to actually follow through and grow and elevate. That's amazing. That's amazing. That was awesome, Tay. You know, um, I, I, I'm a, um, a fan of Sherry Shepard. Um, you probably heard about her. She she came. Uh, to take her, she, she came after uh, Wendy Williams. She's one of those, you know, daytime show uh, presenters, and she always says, yeah. it gets better later." So I, that's what I'm sensing from you that it's getting better later. That like the the latter is the best yeah. time because you're more mature. You know what you're doing. So from what I got from that is that just keep going. Like God is preparing you for the best role or the best job or the best opportunity if you keep on keeping on. Just just briefly, just just give us a little hint of. What was, was was your career always in acting or you had to do this and this and that in order to eventually get to your dream? Yes, um so <clears throat> I actually um yes, like I said, I was I, I started actually I started I studied um 
media studies and I majored in advertising and journalism. And I worked in an ad agency for a, a, a bit and I worked in a marketing agency for a bit. Then I got into television, I did behind the scenes. Then um, it was in a company um, in Randburg called Urban Brew Studios, a, a huge studio in, 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 in South Africa. And um, wh when I was doing behind the scenes in that studio, um, one of the producers, um, I think liked me they were they were filling in they wanted me to fill in for somebody for presenting with presenting and i started presenting um on that show and then i started uh, presenting also on a gospel show called a gospel channel called one gospel it's on dstv mm, I um i did a lot of work there then i did um another gospel show called one um gospel gold on sapc one which is on the same channel that I was on. Um, so shows. i, I that was a big show. Yeah, that was a huge show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah. Gospel Gold was is is, is legendary. It's a, it was a flagship show. It's um yo dates back. At, when was it? Since I was it in the early nineties. So um so the channel the, itself. To early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it was early. Yeah. Yes. So now the the the. And the channel has the channel SABC one has evolved to be a youth channel. Um, so when it it, it, it it evolved to being youth channel, they wanted a younger presenter on that platform. So um, I auditioned and I, I got in there. But that was presenting, um, and you know, um, presenting is 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 a, a little different, you know. Um, and I wasn't always always comfortable with it, but I enjoyed it. Um, so I, I did a lot of that, and you know, a, a, a huge part of me believed also that I could sing because I was singing at Sunday school. You know, our Sunday school was very like you know bourgeois because you know we're in the township and everything. But we used to have a huge um, Sunday school. Caesar knows um, the, the 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 well, they're not young anymore, but um, the, the, our Sunday school team and they uh, were young kids or young women and men of God who sang very, very well. We used to like sing the Kirk Franklin songs, you know, at, at our church at Sunday school. Um, <laughs> even at youth, you know, we used to like, you know, do Richard Smallwood and all of those uh, renditions. It was really a lot of fun. So uh, with that whole singing experience, I used to think that, okay, maybe I can do this, this singing thing, you know, professionally. So I also did a lot of auditions for idols. You know, I have auditioned a lot in my life, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so I did, <laughs> I've auditioned for everything. So, you know, and my mom is the best because my mom used to actually sit in the sun with me at, for idols when idols came to South Africa. You know, so I I, 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 I didn't um, obviously make it into the whole singing thing. Um, but yes, I, I tried it out um, professionally. And yeah, so it was singing, a lot of singing, and I, I presented a lot as well. I had a lot, a huge opportunity in presenting, and then yeah, now it's 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 it's, it's, it's acting. But I've done a lot of behind the scenes work as well, uh, a lot of behind the scenes work. Like I have produced a lot of shows. Um, I I have um, I, you know at the studios that we I, I worked at, we used to do a lot. E even if you produce the the show, sometimes used to step in as production manager. I used to do everything. So I know a lot about TV production behind the scenes as well. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so we will we will we we can we can uh, confidently say you're a well-rounded artist. <laughs> yes. You, you sounded like that. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to say that. Yeah, thank because you. Yeah. You were talking about uh, I want to talk about you know the reason why it took you so long uh, uh, because a lot of times we can get things so quickly mm. and then we lose it and and the reason why sometimes. Uh, uh, God allow us to wait a little bit so that we to build some capital. It's still, it's still, it's still uh, yeah, honing, honing, yeah. so that we, so that when we get it, uh, we had to maintain it. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times, you know, uh, if you, if you could, you could want it fast, but right, you probably want to wait a little bit so that when you get it, you have to, you have to keep it, or get it and yeah. then you lose it i don't want to get it and then lose it i want to be able to i want to be able to yeah. get it and then be able to keep it and be better and be better and so sometimes yeah. you know things can take a little pot because you gotta remember it's nothing that 
the another, another person, person is doing nothing that, that what God can could God, God can give it to you right now. Right and and when, so, so when things is taking too long, you got to look at yourself. yourself. Mm. You know, because a lot of times, yeah. you know why things are taking so long because we're not ready for it. Yeah. The moment we get ready for that position, the moment we get ready for that promotion, the moment we are ready, the days will begin to open God up. God will shift things. And yeah. Move yeah. And, and, and it goes back yeah. to the book of outlines, um, 10,000 hours. That's why you got to, like she said, you got to keep going. You got to keep putting yourself out there. You got to keep pursuing. You got to keep all of these jobs all these you job. did were a stepping stone to where you are now. Yes. You know? You're building that ten dollar an hour where you building that capital, you're building that integrity, you're building that uh that expert status, that expert yeah. uh, individual, so that uh yeah, so that when when the right person see you, you won't mess it up. Yeah. Just quickly, what what's one yeah. common myth that um that you know about is being said about your career, like your industry? I I think you mentioned a couple before. Uh, about having to slip your way into a certain position, but what's that's that's actually a true myth. But what's one common false myth that is known about your career or industry? Um, sure. Yeah, that, I, you, that you guys are all loaded. You're all rich once you appear on camera. Oh no! Oh yes! 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 <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. Everybody, everybody. A lot of people mm. believe that we are loaded. Actors and actresses are loaded. Look, to be fair, some are, some are loaded, um, but not a, all of us. Um, and thanks for for bringing that up, um, Caesar, because um, that whole um, perception comes with expectations from the people that are watching you on tv why are you go gucci? now why why why, why, why now like i'm expected to wear clothes. gucci exactly <laughs> yes now i'm expected to 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 always be in a car instead of walking the streets or now i can't take a taxi now um now i can't eat makwinya makwinya is fat cakes it's 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 fit cook now i can't you know what i mean now i always have to you know look down at no i'm still a human being especially about transport caesar pasta i oh, mean i still take the taxi you know why because i believe that if i am gonna go to somewhere i i, I have a vehicle yes but the, if i am gonna go to a very maybe not so safe area in my in my in my province I should leave my car. Rather, I take a taxi. I, I I get to where I'm going, do my thing, jump back into a taxi. Rather than parking in a place that is unsafe, where I can get you know um, I don't know God knows hijacked, God forbid, or something can get stolen. I, I have to do. What, I'm still a human being. I still need to take the right the the precautions that anybody else would take in order to remain safe. So. I, don't force me or don't make me feel like i'm silly by sitting next to you in a taxi i'm still a human being i still want to take the taxi sometimes you know what i mean there's nothing wrong with me just because i'm on tv doesn't mean that i can't take a taxi so what if i take a taxi or a bus so i still take the bus i still take a taxi and you know, people get amazed. You can see that they're like, oh, look at her. You know, oh, I guess things are not working. Sure like no, things are fine. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, no, they, no, no, you know what I mean? Now I can't eat on the, like, you know, um, what do you call the street vendors? When people are selling on the street, now I can't buy there. I always have to buy in the bourgeois restaurant or whatever. No, I still want my street from the food, a hot dog or, uh, you know, or, 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 or food. We call it, we call it e e kota. Right. Kota is like, a quarter of a loaf of bread and they put um so, fries in there and they put acha and all the, i still eat those things you know i'm still a human being i still live in south africa so no not all of us are loaded even if we were we still want things that other people want so we still do things that other people do yeah. you know so and there's nothing regular, wrong with that live a regular life and not feel a the regular That's life you know what i mean I, like there's nothing wrong i like I, and I, I walk with my little one um to school and you know you can see that people are like looking at me funny it's like oh wow and i don't I, i'm one of those people who doesn't dress up you know i I'm just so regular. I wear shorts, I wear a t-shirt all the time and, 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 and baggy pants. And I'm happy with that. I'm comfortable. But people are always expecting me to be in stilettos and eyelashes and 
No. Like, like how you no. look on TV. <laughs> like how I look on TV. Right. No, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm not trying to prove anything. The bottom line is what you see on TV is for that character. It's that yeah. character. But Te is is the, the girl in a tracksuit or in sweatpants and in a cap. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and that's fine. And I will I take a bus. Do you have people calling by your character Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people call me by my character name. I'm not Tay. I'm not saying it. That worries me. Why? I understand that, look, they don't know me by my real name. Nobody really checks out the credits to check right. my real name. But that's the thing. Uh, at the end of the day, um, it would be nice to, to have somebody saying, oh, hey, because my character name is Flavia. Hey, yeah. Flavia, what's actually your real name? Then I say, it's Tim Bilem Shongo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just to acknowledge that, hey, there's actually a real like you know human being a real human being behind the one that is on because that is a character that's not a real person i'm just portraying right. you know what i mean but yeah it's all those things yeah yeah and speaking about your character is there anything that that you you've learned from flavia like is there uh, do you see Uste in flavia in any way or what don't you like about this character that makes people think oh, you know she's not the nicest person i i think flavia is a great char uh, character by the way you know, you, you really landed a good one. But what, 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 what are you taking from the character? <laughs> um, Flavia is, uh, is, we've got a lot of similarities, um, uh, Flavia and I, but we've also got a lot of differences. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I've learned about Flavia is that she is a character who is um, very bossy. You know, um, she is a station manager, so she has to be in control of the environment, control of her station, control of people's lives and their money, you know. Um, and sometimes um, she it gets a bit too much. The, the, the power sometimes is a bit too much, even to people who are supposed to be her subordinates and people who are older than her. Um, if anybody knows, the, the character that I act on is um, very close to one of the, the very big leads and the very big leads is older than her. And um, so Flavia sometimes talks to this character, the older one, like she's talking to a child and that's pretty disrespectful. So there the, are the, the times where I feel like Flavia must just come down, you know what I mean, Take and be a down, bit right? more respective, and and add a bit of little bit of respect, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I'm uncomfortable because I, I I feel like oh gosh, will I be able to carry this out? But it's not about me. I have to put on Flavia when I'm I'm doing this. So yes, she's a bit too bossy. Sometimes bossy in a disrespectful way because she doesn't realize that this in our in our culture in african culture whether somebody whether you're the boss or not you still have to be respectful um to somebody who's older than you um so flavia sometimes is not but at the same time um i i respect flavia and i can um and connect with her because she is very persistent she doesn't give up she fights you know what i mean and like i said that's 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 a whole lot of me you know what i mean she gets what she wants and um, in a lot of uh, endeavors that Flavia tries to 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 go into, she is very successful, and I'd like to believe that that's me as well. If 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 I want something, I I fight for it, and I, I end up succeeding. So yeah, there, there are a lot of similarities. You know, there are so many other layers that are still going to be uncovered with Flavia. Um, in in these characters, with these characters, there are a lot of arcs because as normal human beings as well, we do change. You think that Flavia is this this and that. But because of a certain um, um, event, that that character changes. So there's still going to be a lot of that. And um, yeah, I guess we are going to keep watching. Um, Flavia is going to change. Things are going to happen. And um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Now, I do have a follow-up question. Because you said Flavia, right? Um, she's, a, she's a bossy character. And so some actors sometimes, because they encounter for so long, uh, and they were on set for so long for season one, and they got five seasons. And they still in the same character because you gotta, you actually gotta, gotta study it, you gotta prepare, you gotta. And so sometimes it could get, it could go um, outside of of the character. So have you ever experienced that when you're in character so long? Now when you're not in character, you're still yeah, you can't snap out of character. You're still in character when you're in talking to people. <laughs> 
You know, to, to be honest with you, I think we're all guilty of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's very hard to, to, to snap out of it. It's very, very hard, especially when, okay, with your family, it's easy because your family knows you and they're going to look at you funny like, if you like yeah. that you now you are now flabby in this house it's like what's going on with you you know are you crazy um but you know with with on the outside sometimes you you end up doing things or saying things the way that your character does and you think to yourself actually that's not actually hey 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 come back come back come back and 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 i think i'm still maybe in a on a journey of knowing how to switch that off because like i said the 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 the, the tricky part about Flavia is that we share a lot of, as much as we share differences, but they, we share a lot of similarities. So sometimes I have to know how to turn it off. You know what I mean? Um, if it's now going that the, the, the Flavia route, I try to bring myself back. It's an art that I think I'm still trying to master, get my <laughs> grips on, but yeah, yeah, it, it, it happens. It, 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 it happens that you, there's a Flavia that have, because now you are in this character, you are bold and you say things and you tell it like it is. And Caesar will tell you that in in our culture, sometimes you just like, especially like you know, uh, when you we, when you have to be respectable, you end up having to be like agree to even something that you're not really supposed to agree to, or maybe you should be pushing back. But now I find that Flavia has now that like this is penetrating through now I'm, I'm actually beginning to speak up for myself it's a good thing but it also can be a bad thing you know yeah. what i mean um it depends how how it, it, it happens so yeah so love it does filter in sometimes in my everyday life yeah you know? yeah okay okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so do you have any regrets uh said like in life or just one or two regrets that you think oh i wish i had not done that um yeah, I wish because I would have I, not I, taken I, I, up so I, I, much debt. I debt. admire you, say, because, I, I mean, like you said, you've been in the limelight for quite some time, but there's no scandal. Like, we don't hear, oh, say this, you know, we, we don't hear you on blogs and people scandaling about you. Thank so, God for Gogo and Mama. Thank God for Gogo and Mama. You know, <laughs> that good background. Yes, yeah, yeah. so, but, like, but even though, you know, you, we all have some regrets, like, we, are there any that you'd like to share with our audience? Yeah, for me, it, 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 I, I get you. For me, it wasn't um, regrets as in things that are out there, you know, that f for people to witness. But it things that I, I did personally that affect, affect my life today. Um, and I'm open to speaking about those things. It's things like, it's not scandalous, but it's bad. You know, I, I, I'm one person who started my career very early, but while I was building myself up, I just incurred a lot of debt and today it's affecting me. And I'm speaking openly about that. You know, now I'm, I'm, I'm a person who's now trying to, you know, fill the holes, you know, now I'm using all the, and I've got a little child, I should be, you know, building up his, his savings and, you know, you know, an empire for him. And now I'm, you know, trying to now close off that you know, debt and stuff like that. So it's those kind of regret, personal regrets where I feel like, you know, I, I should have tried to, 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 to know how to handle my money, my finances better because it's affecting me being a mom today and how I am an adult today. I've, you know, I've got property. I could be investing more into my property, but now I'm covering all these things, uh, covering um, for the, for the, for the holes or the, the gaps that I created when I was younger. So it's those kind of things personal choices that I made that are affecting my growth personally now. You know, I, I sometimes I think back on on the on the things. Um, you know, somebody says, no, buy things cash. Don't tr try not to, to 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 buy things on credit. I used to buy things on credit at such a young age just because, you know, I had a, a good credit record back then. You know what I mean? And I, I and I regret it, you know, because now I'm I'm spending my life now I'm uh, I'm almost done trying to to you know, uh, cover those 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 those, those bad boo boos I did in terms of finances. So, it's something that's shunned upon. I I talk about it openly because I hope young people can learn from that. Yeah. Just because you're getting a little bit of income today, um, um, doesn't mean that you must open yourself up to a whole lot of credit. Build yourself up. If you can't afford to buy cash, 
don't buy it save up mm. do you know what i mean don't open yourself up to a thing or to a situation buy. where they you're going to be paying away. for the rest yeah. of your life you know what i mean yeah so I, 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 I wish i i wish young people could speak about that more because i wish i had listened to somebody you know um it, when they told me don't don't incur so much credit at such a young age those are the kind of things i look back i'm like yo 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 i would be so far right now i might have not you know um been an actor back then and made a lot of money but you know what god gave me a lot of opportunities to have an income and the way i i i i i, I you know the opportunities came i would have actually been far in terms of assets in terms of you know building myself up as a as, as, as a young woman financially but because i just incurred that i wanted to buy this on credit buy that on credit it was just it was a mess for the longest of time and now i'm literally you know trying to cover those gaps i'm spending my life trying to cover a gap that i created when i was younger so those are the kind of regrets i have and i hope everyone every young person learns from that do not do make, make negligent um, decisions regarding finances when you're young. Keep it together. If you need to stay at home longer, stay at home longer until mm. you can afford to actually buy yourself a proper house. Starting with bang. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm telling people. Like, hey, stay home the longest that, that you can. can. Stay don't home. Don't try to get to go to your own place. Hey, yeah. don't. <laughs> Uh, uh, another yes about. and now you're spending yeah. so much money and rent you know what i mean instead of that all that money could have gone into property let's say you had yeah, saved up you stayed home and you saved up you could have put a down payment for your own small home and then extended it and extended it sometimes people buy a small small home but after a couple of years it's huge because they know how to extend and make it bigger those are the kind of things that i would have done some i wish somebody would have slapped me across the head like, don't do it yeah. yeah, yeah. Another thing too, like you said uh, about the about the debt and the credit cards. You know, because sometimes we get a credit card and we feel like, oh, okay, I'm gonna buy food. Don't buy. Don't use a credit card for food. Don't use a buy. Don't use a credit card for liability. If you're gonna use credit, use it for assets. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna need your credit to buy a car. You're gonna need your credit to buy a house. You're gonna need a credit if you wanna start a business. So if you're gonna, don't use your credit uh, uh, foolishly and for clothing and and, and food, gas, and all that kind of stuff. That's gonna be a lot. That's a liability. But if you use credit for Thank you. smart. Access. Use, use your credit, credit that's, that's going to make you money. money. <laughs> yeah. Now, so that's going to take away from you. Yes. You got to pay back that money. Thank you. So if you're going to pay back that money, okay, Thank you're going to use it. You got the credit, you got the good credit. So use that credit for assets. Use that credit to buy a home and start investing in property and things like that. Or invest in stock or in, in new trading. Use the credit that's going to make you money and not, yeah. and not going to take for you. Because you got to pay it back. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got it's, yeah, it's not it's not yeah. yours. It's, it's it's a loan. It's a loan. <laughs> yes, it's a loan. And so, and so we, we got to realize that. that and this, uh, it's and, a, and oh it, my gosh, personal loans. <laughs> yes, yeah. and, and we, we had, had to realize, realize that, that even uh, as, as as black people, people we had to understand that because we need to learn more. Like I said, we need to learn more about financial literacy because a lot of us don't know financial literacy. You know, so we it does need to be taught a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what's your proudest moment? Yeah, yeah, here? absolutely. So you shared your regrets. What's your proudest moment? Like, just just give us one that you're like, oh my god, I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Um, you know, I, I, I okay, and 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 a lot of people might question this. My one of my proudest moments is, first of all, graduating um I, I i'm really happy that my mother was very strict with me to, and she respected my craft and my passions um for for being a performer but she said to me you can do all of those things but you have to study first and i need you to study something that is like proper legit i need you to have some sort of strong backup you know because this is not the usa way you can just you know, perform and perhaps because she, she knew that I, I watched a lot of, um, you know, uh, international Very television. So she is like, you better study, you know, you better study, get a legit 
um, 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 uh, qualification, and then you can do these things. You know what I mean? And she was very because supportive. Because it's always good to do that so that you have something to, to fall back on, right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then you you learn a lot. To be honest with you, corporate corporate le- teaches you so much. Like I worked in an agency for a, a, a while, and I worked in marketing for a while, and I learned a lot. Mm-hmm. And the, that 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 stuff really is helping me today, even in the craft of 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 of, of the arts. Mm-hmm. So um, that is one. Um, two, I, I I I have a little boy. I might have not had him in in the, the right way, according to other people. But I had I had him very later, much later on in my life when I was a bit more mature, and um, he is my pride and joy. I love him so much, and um, I thank God that I had him in the, at a time when my head was right. Like I said, I, I believe that everything that has happened to me or not happened to me is because God allowed it to happen that way. He has focused my life. He has he has he has literally given me. A reason to keep fighting. Sometimes you fight for yourself for so long and you get tired. But when this person comes, they help you to 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 even remember that. Look, now I'm not fighting for myself. Now I'm fighting for this for this guy. So he's my pride and joy. I'm 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 so proud to his be his mother. I'm 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 proud that you know the Holy Spirit is even teaching me how to 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 to, to raise him and. Um, th- you know, I, I, I met. Oh, I also I learned so much from him um, in his naughtiness at the age of six. So I'm very, very grateful for that as well. So it, it, it's 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 those couple of things. Um, you know, one day I really I, I'm, I'm praying that God gives me the the strength to 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 to. I'm still praying for my, uh, to buy my mother um, the the best house, <laughs> the the biggest, most beautiful house. That's my my. You know, if you know when that happens, I know it's gonna happen. I think that's gonna be the one victory, and I'm gonna come back onto this platform and tell you guys that yeah. it is done. Yeah. I have bought my mother a house. You know what I mean? Yeah. I bought my mother a house. You know, I I, I I got a house because I lived away from home um, um, very early in my life in my career, and I, I, I bought property. But I, I've and I only did it because I was really tired of paying other people's rent and buying and, and, and paying their mortgage. But I, more than anything, I desire to buy my mom her family house, a big house with many rooms, um, with a house where she'll get lost in, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, a house that she can call her. I, I, I want to do it for her because I think it's the one thing that's going to say thank you. To her the way that i've always desired to say thank you to her you know she's literally raised me single-handedly she did everything for me um i believe that if i when i buy her house i'm not only buying her the house i'm also going to be buying my grandmother the house as well mm. so um I'm you know I, i'm going to come back on <laughs> i'm going to come back on this platform and testify i know god is going to give me you know the resources, the 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 the, 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 the supply that I need financially to actually do this. So I'm um, I'm already calling it into existence that that's going to be. It is my proud moment when I buy my mother this house. And it's gonna happen. Yes. Well, we we will. That, that's already on the on yes. the on the um vision board. On the vision board. Happen. Yes. God, the universe has heard it, and it shall be so. Just uh, we're almost right. It's there. Up. Before we go into something we call the Fab it's Five, the- um, I just want to ask you, or we want to ask you, what would you like to be remembered as? Like, when we come to your funeral, God forbid, um, we're going to say, hey, Uthe was this. Just what, what's that one thing that you want to be remembered as? Besides being the child of God, we know you're a child of God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I was definitely not going to say that. <laughs> I know Christian. No, that, I know. That, but Listen, I'm a Christian as well. So I know. You know, you know the slide. You know the strap. You know the drill. Yeah. Uh, you know the drill. Okay. So um, no, I, I. You know one thing that I, I. And this comes also with, like I said, this journey that I've been. I realize that I'm one person who, um, I've always been this character who, who makes, people laugh. I don't know. I. I, 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 and I enjoy it, you know, um, at work, they say that I bring this energy and um, 
I, you know, I, I crack jokes. Some of them are not really funny, but people seem to laugh at them. If they don't laugh, I laugh at them, and then they laugh because of the fact that I laugh at my own jokes. So, um, I, I, God has given me, I, I believe, the, the 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 ability to 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 shift an energy into a positive one. We sometimes work on teams, you know, on on on, on Zoom. And uh, a lot of people say that there's the, the, the I bring this energy and this this laughter, this joy. And if there's anything that I, I hope that I leave this earth doing is to is, is 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 leave people with memories of me making them happy, or making them laugh, or making that mo just that moment with them just joyful. Um, I, I I am a big fan of comedy. Because of this, I, 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 I watch a lot of comedy because I love laughing. And it, I, I, when, when, I, uh, when I go out there, I also like injecting that into the spaces that I'm in. And I want to be remembered for that. I want to be somebody who is remembered for adding laughter to the table or laughter to the office or laughter on set. You know what I mean? Joy on set. You know, uh, a lot of people say, still, you're so crazy. How are you too crazy? You know, you, sometimes you behave like a little child, you know, and I, for me, that gives me so much joy. Even if they say I behave like a little child, it's good because for me, it means that I, I just walked into a space where everybody was so stressed. Maybe they were even angry at each other, but I just literally lifted their mood just slightly, you know, and, and that for me gives me joy, you know, um, th that's all I want. That's all I want. That's beautiful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so we're coming, coming down, down to the end, end of the, the show. show. It was, it was a, a great, great awesome, awesome show. show. We, we truly, truly thank, thank you, you for the show. Now, now we're coming to the next segment. Um, we're going to ask you five questions. We call this the Fab Five, you know, where you're going to answer five interesting questions, either in one word, one sentence. You know, we want to know a little bit about uh, about you, we wanna, we, and we want to make it fun. So we, we call it Fab Five. Fab Five. And so the first question is... Ah, okay. <laughs> Now, so for, you're, you're in the hot seat right now. Yes, you're, you're in the hot seat. seat. But you're in the hot seat. Now, now for you don't, for, if, if you don't know, know the fact, uh, uh, it, it, it was, it was, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a basketball team, Michigan King University, uh, and they was, the, they was the hippie. They were the, 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 they had their swag. You know, they, they the first one that introduced the, uh, the long shorts. Before, before them, they used to wear the short shorts. <laughs> Play basketball and the issues, and so they called them the Fat Five because they had this swag about them, you know that. So we named the seven the Fat Five because we want we want we want to know your swag. Yeah, what are, what are you doing that uh, we can learn more about you? And and so the Fat Five, we want the first question is, what are your favorite book you have read or maybe you are reading now? My favorite book is The Shack. It's called The Shack. The Shack. What is that? Um, the The Shack is oh god. Okay, so it's, it's a Christian book. It's about this um, this man basically who had um, who lost his child in a car accident, and um, basically because of that mourning and the, the the grief he was going through, I think he he goes into the forest goes into a shack where he has an out-of-body experience with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And basically the Holy Spirit just literally, it's a healing, it's 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 a healing process um, that the Holy Spirit takes him, as a healing journey that the Holy Spirit takes him through. And basically it happens in a shack. Um, and by the time he's finished, because he really struggled with the loss of his, of his of his daughter. And for the longest of time, I think he was just not able to move on. Like his, 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 his wife, I think more or less was, was stronger and then the, the young the older child but he really really struggled but it, it was just how it, it, what i loved about the book is was about how the holy spirit was able to just uh, take him out of his his natural state and take him on this journey of healing and um and and of comforting and for me it it, it hit close to home because um you know i am on this journey of, of really learning about the holy spirit and um and, and and knowing what the holy spirit is for and the role that he plays in my life so um 
yeah i i i love that book it's actually had it had a movie they they did a movie on it as well it's called the shack well we're gonna check it out yeah. can, can i get can, can, can i i, I want to have, have a bonus, have a bonus. It, it just came to me a yeah bonus. because you're an actress what, what are, are your top three top, top five, five actress or actors or top, and top five movies, movies. this is the bonus top, top five, five actress you know everyone name them your top five that's a lot top five top three top three actress actors oh just one producers what producer you like to work with um sure that's a tough one (laughs) it's a tough one because there's so many um um i they're all south african i believe that we've got great great talent here um i would like to 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 work with um um teabag his name is teabag he's a fantastic director um i would like to act alongside um um why why am i missing his his his, his name siabonga twala siabonga twala is a huge actor here in south africa um i like to act alongside Vusti Kunene. he's also a huge time actor here in south africa um i when when i watch international i love i love i love um kevin hart um he's so silly and um okay but now i'm, I'm telling you about my international ones <laughs> Okay, no, no, but, no, I'm but saying, guys, I'm saying, I'm I'm saying Kevin Hart just recently visited South Africa and he was blown away. Yes, I, I didn't. Yes, I he did, and I, I didn't get an opportunity to meet him. I was like, man, okay. and I, I really, really wanted. I would have loved to to, to meet him. I really, really adore um, Kevin Hart. I think he's so silly, and I think him and I would vibe because I'm I'm stupid like that as well. <laughs> um, and then, oh, this so many goodness uh I, I i okay and i love all the like i love uh, is chris tucker around guys where's chris where's chris tucker where's chris tucker for real i don't know yeah chris is around, where's chris tucker? Is around. we haven't guys, heard much of him lately i used to love emulating chris tucker i used to love emulating chris tucker when 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 i do my performances at school i used to love um um who's the guy who acted at uh, um good times good times uh, he was called jj JJ, 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 Evans. JJ, yeah, JJ. JJ. Pastor, you know uh, this one. I, I don't know his real name. I, I can't, can't think, think of his real name right now. Yes, he's still alive, know. right? Yes, he's still alive. Love it. I'm talking about the people that I watched now. That these are comedians. They are fantastic. Those are the kind of people I want to actually like work with in 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 the future. When it comes to to directors, obviously Shonda, uh, Shonda, obviously. But yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. God is good. So, Anything can happen. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so if you're if watching, you're watching, Ross, if you're watching Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart, if you're watching Chris Tucker, if you're watching uh, the South African directors and actors, you know, if you would like to uh, find out more, she she want to work with you. Yeah. So reach out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the yeah. second one. Whoever knows, whoever knows these people. Hey. Yes. 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 Whoever, whoever knows, knows these people, people uh, hook, hook our sister. Up. Hook yes. yes. Give her a call. Let her know. Yes. That's and that's what we about with this platform. Yes. So So what skills do you think people need today? What skills do you Sorry? think people need like today? Like what 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 is that one skill that if everybody had that skill? You know, people things things will work out for them. So, what's the one skill that people should have? You think everybody should have today? I think, if anything, it's communication. Good communication. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. I think That's if you're able to communicate efficiently, I promise you, it solves half of the problems. I know so many people that achieved or received um so much not because they necessarily are able to do the job but just because they were just great at the interview they talked their way to the top basically i realized that 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 people were able to communicate powerfully and engage you know what i mean like like, like powerful communicators powerful communicators are able to make it yeah Smooth talkers. 
<laughs> small yeah. talkers yeah. you know sometimes when, some, when, a, when a, 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 even like, you know like even a guy asking you out sometimes not necessarily that you like him but just because of the way he He's spoke <laughs> I'll, I'll give you i'll call you you know what i mean so that's what i'm saying like i think communication is, is is a big deal it's a big deal that's why i think people are actually paying money to learn how to communicate, communicate efficiently that's, okay. that's so true yeah, yeah. And, 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 and so the third one is why do pe- why do you think people give up quit fail, fail and, and what, what they pursue especially with actors and actors so why do you think people give up quit or fail and what they pursue because there are so many they're listening to the wrong voices mm. and it's easy to listen to the wrong voice um it's easy to look at the the situation in the physical it's hard to contend with the the, the situation in the physical uh, uh, you can see that um look this thing is not working out you've been trying for years and you you can see that look I, 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 there's no way it, like the, I'm, I'm tired I'm, I'm done i'm exhausted the disappointment is too much and then you listen to that voice of disappointment you play the disappointment and the rejection over and over in your head and that becomes the voice that you listen to so it, it it's it's the voice that you listen to that's why sometimes they say that if you when you listen to the word of god over and over and it, 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 your faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word you have to revitalize yourself revive yourself by listening to the word of god that's how you're able to hear the right thing so that you're able to 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 get your muscles back in order so that you keep pushing you keep pushing and it's not easy sometimes you give up you don't want to even listen to no prep or dollar or whatever you know you're just done you know what i mean but uh, god is good sometimes he just finds a way to 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 remind you to 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 give you that voice that will speak right into your ear so it's listening to the to the to the wrong voices i think and looking at the physical love yeah. that love that so um uh, question number two more questions yes yeah, two more questions so what's, what's the, the one thing that you love about your career and the one thing that you hate about your career just one of each the one that you really love and the one that you really hate about your career I love one thing I love about my career is that I, I I love telling stories. I am able to tell a story that people can learn from, people can laugh at, whatever the case may be. But I must essentially I'm a storyteller, and everybody loves stories. I've realized that it's safe to say that people love stories because um, you know you get to escape your reality, you know, when you follow the story. So my job is to tell the story. Um, one thing I hate about this job, um, man, I think we named it the perceptions, the wrong perceptions that people have out there. And now you have, you sometimes feel like, okay, now should I contend with this perception? Should I bend my bend who I am for, you know, what people are expecting me to do? So yeah, yeah. That. that's awesome. That's awesome. And then give us our last yes, the last questions. questions. Yes. yes. And, and so, so the last five, five, five questions, question. we, we already know one of the uh, answers. Uh, you said you want to give your your mom's uh, a, a house. You want to buy your mom's a house. So we would like to ask you, where do you see yourself in five years? Because we want to be able to look back at this video yes. and uh, one in five years from now and say, you know what, she accomplished this thing. And so she said it. And and and, 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 and and she did it. And we'll send you a clip of that. And we will see. <laughs> so, so where do you see yourself in five years? years? First of all, um, I I see myself as someone who um, is able to dance. I'm okay. on a journey of learning Woman how to dance. Talents. I, <laughs> yeah. One day I'm gonna learn how to dance, guys. Very well. Okay. Um, and I'm serious about it, by the way. I really want to learn how to dance. I'm very stiff when I dance. But yes, I want to grow in, in, uh, a lot in, in, in my um, career. Um, I want to do um, periodic pieces, powerful pieces, pieces that represent, that tell stories about how far we've come as 
black people, African black people, um, with this, they, they just shot Shaga Ilembe. Um, but you know, as, as a Zulu person, as a Zulu, a Zulu woman, there's other stories that need to be tell, told about our people. And I want to be part of those period pieces um, about back in the day um, uh, that, that, have, that, that showcases why we are the way we are today as young, or as, as young Zulu women. So I want to do a period piece that's going to literally um, go international teach people the other side of Zulus, aside from King Shaga, you know. Um, I, want to, um, I, I want to have raised my, my son in a powerful way. I want to own more properties. I want to um, completely, completely um, get all my debt and actually do talks. I want to be able to do talks to young people about um, financial management and you know um and 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 how to 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 to, to basically grow as 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 as, as, an, as as a young person into a life that will actually be one that is resourceful one that is going to have a legacy for your children one that's going to give back to the community because you were able to manage your finances i think it's a huge huge deal it's lacking and it's a gap in our society where people speak about how to manage finances so it, 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 those are the things I, I just want to grow as a person. I I, I want to to I do want to travel the world. I want to, to to see the world. I mean, I I've been to Antarctica. Um, God was good. I, I did a show in Antarctica. Um, so I was at the end of the world. But I want to actually see the world broadly. I want to come to you guys. I want to come to New Jersey. You know, yes. and I want to come to um, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes a horn you know i want to i want to i want to see the world i really want to travel i want to come onto the show in five years time and and say that guys ever since ever since 2023 i actually have been here 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 and i'm talking about all over the world i want to travel i want to see the world because i re for the from the few experiences that i've had traveling i realized that there's so much to learn your mind is open when you when you see different environments different people um the different cultures you learn so much you know you appreciate even home you appreciate your home even better when you are out there so i, I want to travel i want to experience life the life that i've uh, that my mom never experienced mm -hmm. the reason why she sacrificed so much is so that she, i can experience the life that she's never experienced i want to bring her on those trips as well i want mm -hmm. her to come with me you know i want to travel with her to show her the world as well you know what i mean um so she mustn't. I mustn't buy the house, and then she must. She must stay in there. No, wow. she must. She must stay in the house, buy her furniture, and you know we keep our stuff there. But we're gonna travel. I want her to travel and see the world. It's not too late. She's sixty. How much is? How old is my mom again, Ziza? Uh, no, She's sixty something. She's sixty-seven. Old, so you can't, you can't she just. Ha! Huh? It was. It was her birthday last. It was her birthday this last, week. She's. Yeah. She's sixty-seven. But her lady's age is never told, so you can't, you can't reveal her age. <laughs> she, oh okay but she, she, she she's very she's very grateful that god has kept her this far she's so grateful but i wanted to travel as well i want to take her along with me i want her to see the world with me as well you know oh gosh i have so many things i want to see i want to own a fleet of cars you know i want to have property want, want to in new you, jersey as well i want to say to you go write these, <laughs> these things down write, write them, them down, down. And just keep believing God for them because God is able. But it's very important because even the yeah. Bible reminds us, write it down and make it plain. Yeah. You know, write the vision down and yeah. make it plain. So do that. Stay, we've come to the end. We actually went way over time and there was okay because yes. we had such a beautiful interview with you. We really, really enjoyed hearing, hearing from you. And I know our audience are going to appreciate hearing from you too. And we hope that this is not the last time of us sitting down and having a chat with you. Hopefully next time we'll actually be sitting side by side with you. Yes, yes. Not not, not over, <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, yeah, virtually. Yeah, virtually. Yes, yes, we would really love to, to, to just have a sit down, a proper face to face sit down with you in the future. No, so, thank you for agreeing to come on. And, um, um, yes, yes, but before we go, thank you. How people can connect with you. Yes, 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 because we need to build that social media platform. Yes, we must. How can they connect with you? 
Um, on on I'm on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm um, at Ms. M S underscore stay. Okay. Um, let me let, let me double check. I don't wanna. Uh, uh, I wanna make sure. She doesn't know. I um, I'm. I want to make sure I'm not lying. I want to make sure I'm not lying. It's uh, on on yes on Instagram. I'm m s underscore s t h e. Yes. M s underscore s t h e. That's me on Instagram. Then I'm on on Twitter as well. And um, let me just check my Twitter. I'm not Wait, trying you know, to have 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 my socials, Twitter? guys. You have, you have a different, different name, name for Twitter. Twitter? <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, please don't laugh at me. Please don't. We need, we need to improve please this, don't, please don't. We, we gotta catch oh, out there. We oh, gotta oh, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Okay, so on, on Twitter, ne, it's stay at stay S T H E underscore Mthongo. M H L O N G O. At S T H E underscore M H L O N G O. I wish I could have kept them the same, the same, but yeah. Yes, but yes. Instagram is where I'm more. I'm very active on 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 Instagram, so. Yeah, you need to. That's where you can get a hold. You need to change your Twitter to the same name on Instagram. Because people can can. Yes, I know. I've been trying, Pasta. I've been trying. It's not easy. People have taken my name. Ah. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, on that note, we want to say. How did you follow, follow you? That's what we're saying. On okay. that note, we want to say, please uh, also, also follow, follow us on our Instagram. Instagram. Mostly, we really want to be your friends at Lady Season One, and you can follow um, LJ. And get inspired, get inspired by, by LJ. LJ. Uh, or you, or you can, can follow us collectively at Chilling with the Chaplains. But also, you can be, be able to hear this interview not only just on our YouTube channel, but also on all our audio, audio, platform. audio platforms. And they will appear on the screen so that you're able to just tune in. If you don't want to watch us, you can always hear us. And on that note, we also want to say don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please subscribe to our channel and share this video so that Miss Tay is known to the world. Yes. And whatever that you, you heard from this uh, interview um, and you like, somebody else might just like. So share the video, put down your comments, ask questions, ask her questions. She will get a chance to read them and we'll get again uh, uh, back again and she'll get an opportunity to answer them as well. So yeah, do write on the comment section and do subscribe and do follow us on all these platforms. Yes. yes. And, and we would like, like to say, say if you'd like to join the community, you're welcome to join the next opportunity when the community where you're able to be coached by your boy, Coach LJ. So we said join the community of like-minded individuals where we're able to grow and begin to take action. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank Until you. Until next time, take care. Take care. Bye -bye. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.